Veronica here, and I am very excited to be showing you our latest collection this week. We've got some incredible designer finds from all over the world, uh, perfect pieces for you to wear dressy and casually, and some really incredible pops of color. Plus, it's a great week because I'm proud to announce that we have several pieces that if you are a huge fan of Signer New York, we've got some great bracelets that are actually ready to ship. So, I hope everyone is doing really well tonight. As always, I thank you very much for tuning in. I have worked in the jewelry and styling industry for over 20 years, and each and every week we bring you a completely fabulous collection of new and designer vintage jewelry that has been curated from all over the world. So without further ado, let's take a look at this week's tray. So we have got some really gorgeous finds here, and if you didn't notice, our collection is full of pieces that are bright and colorful. Uh, they've got an incredible designer edge to them. It's a very big, bold, but some great classic pieces and some fabulous pieces that can be worn both dressy and casual, and uh, pieces that really elevate your look, as well as we've got some great pierced earrings. I know that you lovely ladies have been on the hunt for vintage pierced earrings. So let's start out right away by highlighting a great piece to get us ready actually for the spring season. We're going to be saying goodbye to March and we are going to be heading off in, we're saying goodbye to February and heading into March. So how perfect are these? Let's march in like a lion. These are vintage and Klein Couture. And what I do love about them is that they are pierced. So if you've been looking for a pierced door knocker earring instead of the clip ones, these are a great find. Uh, but we also have got some really awesome, amazing cuff bracelets that are so fabulous. Uh, if you are not familiar with Signer New York, Signer is all handmade here in New York City. And if you are a huge fan of the, the Chanel Vidora cuff, then these are absolutely show stopping. We've got these gorgeous bracelets and they are all handmade in New York City. They are crafted from start to finish. Signer is the oldest costume designer jewelry company in the country. They have been in business for 125 years and they have had their pieces worn by incredible women like Lauren Bacall and Elizabeth Taylor, uh, celebrities as well as uh, fashionistas from all over the world love Signer Jewelry. And what's so amazing and awesome about it is that it's made here right in the USA. I am very proud to say that all of these bracelets that we have are all in my personal collection and they also are all available here for you. And in this rare occasion, I have these three that are in stock and they are ready to ship and they go so beautifully with so many of the other pieces that we have this week. Uh, they, we have a pair of the mini mogul earrings which complement the signer bracelets perfectly. Uh, if you are a fan of vintage Swarovski, they, we have some really fabulous vintage Swarovski earrings. Uh, but you know, if you like the way that the gold and the or the classic pearl and the diamond look looks, they go really lovely with the vintage KJL. And of course, you can pop on a ring and complement it so beautifully. Uh, you can pop on the black, goes so elegant with the black onyx, with the black enamel. If you are looking for a piece that has a brooch, we've got a great vintage accessor craft that goes along with it. These are all such incredible statement pieces. And you know, if you really like the look of fine jewelry, you really cannot beat the quality that's here. And they're just, they are so fabulous on, they really do turn heads, you know, they just, they're really nice. They fit well, they're comfortable, easy to move with. And you know, you're for sure to of course, turn a lot of heads and receive a lot of compliments from everywhere you wear them. Certainly these pieces are bold yet sophisticated statement pieces and they're just so incredibly well made and they're really such an incredible price too. So these we have and all three bracelets you do have, we do have that are ready to ship. So these are really fabulous this week. Now another fun one, and we have been highlighting a lot this week, is we've got some really great designer pieces this week as well. We have got these gorgeous 
Ram bracelet, uh, which is vintage KJL, and we have the vintage KJL Ram earrings to go with it. We also have these vintage KJL hoop earrings, which are also pierced, which are a great find. They're really nice and light, great statement pieces. Uh, we also have a lovely, lovely pair of vintage Monet double door knocker earrings that are also pierced. So as you can tell this week, I know because we were getting requests for pierced earrings, we were trying to make more of an effort to be able to find them for you. So we've got these and they're really fabulous. And let's see a picture of that cuff on. It pairs so nicely with the other bracelets as well. You know, and I love the animal bracelets again. You know, it's such a classic statement piece, but you know, these are often referred to as warrior bracelets and that they're symbolic and you know spirit animals and those types of things and stuff but you know and then they're perfectly they've got a fierce feeling to them they're just so great they look pair wonderfully paired together but you can also layer and stack a couple different ones of them together really easy and then of course they match so nicely with your fine jewelry as well so i would definitely if you are looking to add a real true statement piece to your jewelry box these are all really fab finds so now I'd love to point out, so yesterday, so if we come on up and look at here, so yesterday we asked you if you liked the brooch that had either the pearls or the gold, and it was kind of split. Everybody loved them 50-50, so I'm proud to say that they're both online on the website now. They're under new arrivals. So you can check them out at vintagemeatmodern.com, and you know they go so lovely with our Audrey Pearl stud, or we also have these very sweet vintage RJ Graziano. They're very tiny and very petite, so if you do like a clip earring, but you're not really into the big, bold clip earrings, we've got these sweet little three-dimensional crowns. And who doesn't like to feel like a princess? <laughs> uh, very comfortable, very easy to wear. They go very sweet with the crowns. I mean, I could never pick either of them because I think they look too cute together. I feel like it's so sweet to put a couple different scatter pins on. And at this time of year where we're wearing a lot of sweaters and cardigans because we're in between transitions with seasons and things like that, it's a really great, easy way to add something to your solid colored cardigans and to your jackets is to put a set of scatter pins together. And, you know, speaking of putting collections together and stuff, the actual oldest piece that we have on the tray tonight is a Victorian, it's a uh, picture, like it's a moss agate brooch. It looks like it's got a little bit of moss that's running through it, but it's actually the way that the agate is. And this would be a perfect one to add if you needed to add like a little bit of a trio. And so this piece is from the early 1900s. And even though it's a small style, it has such a very just an elegant and a polished feel to it. And it just has just a hint of gold with the gilt setting around it. It's very sweet and it looks very lovely layered with the other pieces. So I would definitely, if you haven't gotten into a habit of layering petite brooches together, it's a lot of fun. And then the best part about it is you can wear them together and you can wear them separately over and over again. So let's talk about some of the other awesome necklaces that we have on this tray as long as we're up here. We've got this gorgeous 1940s Art Deco style rhinestone necklace. And I love this one because it has a tassel-like design. So it hits it a little bit longer. Uh, this one comes with a J-hook closure and I love that it's got such a nice geometric presence to it. And it's also really sparkly. Everything that you're seeing, there's no filter here. It's so beautiful the way that it catches the light and it looks so dramatic. It's so easy to pair it with just your solid colors, your V-necks, your scoop necks. It's just a really great piece. And I think everyone Woman should at least have one rhinestone piece in their jewelry box because it gives you that old Hollywood glamour look that we love. And another piece, speaking of that this week, oh, I'm getting stuck on my own sweater, uh, is that another piece that's really great this week if you are into the rhinestones and you like collectible designers, we have a gorgeous pair of vintage Eisenberg earrings. And now Eisenberg is really, really known for their sparkle. And what I love about Eisenberg earrings is that, you know, Eisenberg was a company that actually started out before they were making jewelry. They were actually putting the jewels on the clothing that you would see sewn into things uh, in the 1920s and in the 1930s. And then the Eisenberg brothers, people loved the way that the 
little rhinestone clips and things were sewn into dresses so much that people said, you know, can you make them as brooches and things? And then the company just grew and grew and grew and grew from there. Their pieces are very collectible and they have that diamond look. Uh, it's everything that we love about the way that we see the sparkle of the 1950s and the 1960s. And these are just really gorgeous. They have this sort of like layered prong-like style design. So, and they go really lovely with this Art Deco 1940s ring that we have as well. Here, how about we take a look at that here. So we've got the really lovely, we've got the rhinestone ring and we have the beautiful Art Deco earrings from Eisenberg this week. Another piece that's really gorgeous is this beautiful 1930s, 1940s fur clip. It's got this gorgeous ruby red with the marquees and then it has got the faceted ovals. Uh, it goes really lovely with the ring. It also goes really gorgeous with the Great Gatsby bracelet that we have from Signer. You know, the red just goes together so gorgeous, so elegant uh, and it just looks so beautiful on makes a really beautiful set and you know I see a lot and people say to me well you know how do you wear a dress clip or how do you wear a fur clip and here if we go up for just a minute this is what I wanted to point out if you have like a ribbon or you have a silver chain or something like that even though these were meant to be clips so they open and they close in the back and you're supposed to stick it on a sweater or a coat I see a lot of people now doing this and myself included you can tie this on a ribbon or you can put this on a heavier chain and it makes an absolutely gorgeous pendant so if you haven't thought about wearing a fur clip or a dress clip that way, this is how you get all of that Art Deco glamour that you love and adore. And even though we don't wear fur clips or dress clips as often, you know, you can certainly wear it and clipped onto a sweater or onto a dress, or even if you had a higher neckline, you could wear it across it. But you could also take it and you could wear it as a pendant and it would be lovely. And again, you can very easily mix it with your other rhinestone jewelry or a pair of diamond studs or a pair of ruby studs. They're just so beautiful with all of the sparkle. Now, if you're looking for something that's really, truly dramatic, another piece that we got in this week, and if you go under the new arrivals, you'll see we have this incredible 1960s showgirl necklace. And we also have matching earrings that go with the 1960s showgirl necklace. And so these are huge. These are definitely, so they're practically shoulder dusters because we say that they're almost three inches long, but they're actually really light and really comfortable. And they have this really great edgy classic feel to them. You know, I picture them so easily paired with like a black jumpsuit from Rachel Zoe or something that's got a very Halston look to it. Uh, they're so fun. You know, all you need is a black dress or, you know, a long sheath gown and then, you know, maybe some silver heels or things like that. You don't need anything else. Maybe a huge rhinestone. You could wear a huge gigantic cuff with it. It would be just so dramatic. And if you're going to black ties or formal events at this time of year. It's so nice to be able to pick something that's vintage uh, because then people will be asking you all evening long where you got it from. And certainly because they're black and they're clear too, you know, you could pair them with a color. You wear it with hot pink. You could wear it with green. It'd be a really dynamic way to set yourself apart and they just look so great, especially with your hair up. And they're really comfortable too. So, and they're in perfect condition. So I'm absolutely in love with those also. But if you are looking for something that has got the presence and the design quality that was part of the 1970s, if you like that sort of minimalist sculptural look, we also have a really gorgeous piece from Cadoro this week that features the hammered gold and then it's got the silk braided chain. This is a beautiful collar necklace. And again, it's nice because it has sort of the more minimalist look. So if you love the look of designer and vintage jewelry, but you're not into the rhinestones, you like that sort of mod, edgy, this is a really great, really easy piece to wear. And there's so many other pieces that you could pair with it so easily. It goes really lovely with the Swarovski cuff that we have. It goes really nicely with that KJL Rams head that I was talking about. Uh, we have a black jade ring that's faceted. It's kind of neat, you know. 
the whole thing is when we're talking about our collections and when you get to see everything on the tray, we're always trying to inspire you to think about what you might have in your own jewelry box, as well as how you can really truly build a collection that you're going to love and adore and be able to put the pieces together over and over again, both your fine jewelry and your designer jewelry and your vintage jewelry. There's a couple other pieces that are totally worth checking out this week uh, and I absolutely love and adore. We have this gorgeous KGL Capriante necklace, Ooh. which is a book piece. Uh, you know, everybody is always such a big fan of the dramatic color pieces. This is a great piece because it has that mogul feel with the huge cabochon stones and then it has the royal jewel tone colors. So, you know, you can see it's paired with just a really simple classic white, but if you put it with something like the deep emerald green or the sapphire blue or the ruby, it's gonna complement whatever favorite jewel tone it is that you're wearing. And this is a style with the V and the lavalier Y style that is very flattering on a lot of people. It also is a J-hook closure, so there is a little bit of flexibility in that if you like to wear it a little higher or if you're looking to wear it just a little bit lower, you can certainly make it comfortable. And again, this is a great piece that you can so easily wear with just a classic gold stud, or we can get you the matching Capriante earrings as well. If you are looking for something that is really sexy and dramatic, we have got this gorgeous collar necklace. It's unsigned Le Bernard from the 1970s, and it also has those jewel tone mogul stones set in it. So we've been really on like the jewel mogul tones because they're so elegant and it's so unique. And you really can't find it any place else. We don't see it so commonly in the jewelry designs when we walk into the stores now. But you know, you do see it with our famous fine jewelers that we love and adore like David Webb. And so it's really nice to be able to have that sort of edgy, glamorous, very rich and elegant feel by being able to get that look with just one piece of jewelry. And this necklace, it feels so good on. You feel like Cleopatra or a queen or a goddess when you're wearing it. And again, it's a really easy piece to pair with your fine jewelry and also just to wear with a very simple classic black dress or a very simple classic tee and just a pair of jeans. And if it looks great at this time of the year, just think of how stunning and radiant it'll look once summer comes and rolls around and you get to wear it with, you know, tanks and longer dresses and things like that, like maxis. So this is another really fabulous find this week. And now let's uh, highlight one more piece before we go, which is, you know, as always, we absolutely love and adore KJL. So if you were really into the jewel tone colors that we were talking about this week with the necklaces that you were also seeing, like the Caprianti and the collar necklace, were just a little bit too bold. This is a great piece. It's actually, we have the original KJL box that it comes with, and all of these necklaces are interchangeable. So you can pop out the stone and you can put in the sapphire or the ruby red or the garnet or the emerald green and then this hits at a longer length more like a pendant. So if you're looking for those jewel tone colors that you love and adore or something that you can maybe mix or match with some of the other KJL pieces, you can get the same quality designer look that you absolutely love and adore on the other pieces but this is a longer, a little bit more pendant that you could wear easily during the daytime and then certainly again you can mix it so easily with your fine jewelry like just a classic pearl or a classic gold earring. So I certainly hope that you find something here this evening that catches your eye. As always, if you have any questions about anything, you can always send me a message at veronica at vintagemeatmodern.com or you can message me right here on Facebook. Uh, also, just to let you know, I'd love to invite you to join us over in the Vintage Meat Modern Styling Society because if you really truly want to get first dibs before anybody else, because as you know, our vintage pieces, they sell really quickly and we know you're frustrated when you can't find things on the website. So the best part about it is, is if you join us over in the Vintage Meat Modern Styling Society, we can help you find things easier, plus you get 15% off and you get free shipping in the US. So we'd love for you to come and join us over there. I hope that you have found something tonight that will catch your eye and might find its way into your jewelry box. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful week. I look forward to speaking with you all soon and stay sparkly.